Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Creating Essence. I'm Megan, thank you so much for stopping by. We're in a little bit of a different environment today. We've been doing school in the park lately. Let's see our workstation back here. Kids are currently taking a play break. And I figured I would take this chance to check in with you all on Wellness Wednesday. I've got a three-year-old running around mad about something that he won't tell anyone so I'm sorry if you hear his squawking. I did not get a chance to check in and do Wellness Wednesday last week. It's not because I was avoiding, it's because we had a lot going on. Uh, my husband's parents came up from Florida and have been staying with us so we were doing so much to get ready this last week. However, I have been doing so well on those three goals for the 100 Days of Change. And I'm not saying that to my own horn, I'm saying that because I am super proud of myself. I will put up an iCard, put a link in the info box below to the original 100 Days of Change that I joined in with May of Mrs. May Shank. And my three areas of focus to refresh were to food journal, to read more and cut out mindless scrolling by reading more, and to declutter. Food journaling, I give myself a B plus on that. I was really diligent the first week to food journal. The second week, we were super busy and I was not writing everything down because I didn't always have my notebook right there with me. However, I, that first week of food journaling made me really mindful and really kind of made me think more about what I was actually eating. And I was always thinking like, I have to go write this down. And then I never got to my notebook, but I am really pleased with what a difference it made with what I put in my mouth and being mindful. My second goal of reading more and mindless scrolling on social media less was a total win. Like I said, I was going to stop jumping on Facebook to do my wake up. I'm still laying in bed, trying to wake up, scrolling through Facebook on my phone. I said I was gonna download the Bible Gateway app and instead go through the scripture of the day. First thing that they have on their front page of the app every day. I absolutely did that and I have been so enjoying it. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably been seeing those verses pop up in my Instagram stories because every now and then it just seems so perfect. Like just a really good scripture, one I haven't read in a while or sometimes even one I have never seen and I just put in my Instagram stories, use the little type feature and type it up. I have been keeping a book with me, near me, in my knitting basket, or on the back of the toilet, to do reading instead of mindless scrolling while I have my hands free. And I am pleased to say that I have been really successful at that. Over the last two weeks, I have successfully read uh, the book A Christian's Guide to the Biblical Feasts by David Wilson, and I have been working more on Wife in Pursuit by Selena Frederick and Raising Uncommon Kids by Sammy Cohn. Now, I know it sounds a little all over the place to have three books going at once, but they're really different topics. So I kind of have them, the different books sitting in different places, and when I have a chance, I just pick it up and read a book, read a bit. Goal number three, decluttering, total win. Now I said I was going to uh, work on that by setting a timer for 15 minutes at a time and working on just picking a spot and decluttering. That was my strategy. I have not kept to that, however, I've actually been doing more. I've been doing so many decluttering, reworking, reorganizing projects around the house the past two weeks that I am super thrilled. We completely cleaned out my husband's office. I purged my fabric stash and my yarn stash a bit. I completely reorganized my sewing area in the office. Uh, I reorganized my pantry, uh, my huge tool chest. I detail cleaned our master bathroom, which gets neglected because it's in our bedroom, so almost nobody but me and my husband use it. We detail cleaned and purged the kids' toy room. We completely made over the school room, which if you want to see that, I did a quick little tour in our homeschool organization thing about that. I'll put an iCard up and a link in the info box below. But I've been doing tons of projects like that and I am really excited. The things look so much nicer. It's, it just, it cracks me up. And honestly, it kind of fills my cup 
how my husband will walk into a room and be like, it looks like a totally different room now because I've just been like purging and reorganizing. And I wanted to share with you guys in case you didn't see it in the last Wellness Wednesday video, something that a friend uh, posted in the comments. What's up, buddy? Um, I found another caterpillar, but it's not the same. Okay, well, does it have spines? Uh, yeah. Okay, don't touch it then. It's green. Okay, leave it alone and let it live, okay? In the last Wellness Wednesday video, I asked you guys if you had any, like, your favorite decluttering tips or any, like, personal aha moments you'd had to share them to kind of help me get going on this decluttering challenge because that's always... It's kind of been a downfall for me. And she said she had asked the same thing many times. And the thing that finally struck her and made a difference was when someone said to her, if organization of your things and reorganizing and organization systems were going to work for you, it would have already worked. What you need is less stuff. Now, the whole minimalism, Marie Kondo, I mean, I have her audiobook, all those things, not new to me. I watched her show, all that stuff. That is not new to me. I think it's awesome. But just the way that statement was phrased totally clicked for me. Absolute mind blown aha moment. And it made so much sense. I have been buying baskets and bins and color coding and files and folders and organization things and shelving and all the stuff, all the stuff for years. And like I said in the last video, clutter's just kind of always been. That made so much sense. I know this might sound contrary to so many people that a family of seven does not produce much waste. But it's true. We use reusable almost everything. We use toilet paper. That's true. There are times, several times a year, where we can just skip taking the trash can to the curb because it's not even full yet. There's plenty of space for our trash for the next week. So we just don't even take it to the curb. To show how contrary it is, <laughs> uh, in the last two weeks, I have taken a load to Goodwill and we have also completely filled both of our big roll away trash cans from the trash company completely full and overflowing because as i was going through and decluttering i realized oh we don't need this this is not something i would give to another person though it it's literal garbage i've been holding on to because it's not useful to us anymore and it's certainly not something worthy of giving to another person i threw away so much and I don't think of myself as having like a junky garbage filled house, but we packed to overflowing both of our trash cans. And honestly, we have a couple things still sitting on our back porch waiting for trash pickup this morning so that the cans will be empty so we can put those things in the cans. So I would say overall, so far, the 100 days of change, all three of my goals, total dynamite. Let me know how your goals for the summer going. I know a couple of you posted in the comments as well as over on my Instagram that you loved this idea and you were going to check out May's video and jump on your own 100 days of change. So if you were working on 100 days of change, I would love to hear that. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you wanna see more like this. We'll see you tomorrow.